क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी सिक्स द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ ए टाइम हारमोनिक प्लेन ई एम वेव ट्रैवलिंग इन नॉन मैग्नेटिक लॉसलेस डायलेक्ट्रिक मीडियम हैज एन एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ टू वोल्ट पर मीटर इफ द रिलेटिव परमिटिविटी ऑफ द मीडियम इज फोर द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ टाइम एवरेजिंग पावर डेंसिटी वैक्टर इज डैश इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन एंड स्ट्रेट फॉर्मला बेस्ड क्वेश्चन सो लेट मी एक्सप्ल लेट मी राइट द गिवन डेटा He has given that amplitude of the electric field is given as two volts per meter. So I have written that first. Then relative permittivity of the medium is given as four. I have written that, and it is also given that non-magnetic. Whenever he says non-magnetic material, non-magnetic medium, then you can conclude that mu r is one. This is very important. Many people don't know, so they'll confuse between that. So if they know also, they try to remember non-magnetic means mu r is one. So now he's asking, what is the average power? Average time, average power density. Power density is asking. Okay, so power density formula is given as average power density. Average indicates one by two. Directly with the question, I'm going average one by two. So power density is given by multiplication of electric field with magnetic field. So you should know this formula. And one more formula you should know. Second formula is called nita. Characteristic impedance is nothing but E by H. If you know these two formulas, you can solve this question. So Half into e into e e naught. I am taking the magnitude. So e naught maximum value into what is h from the second relation? H is nothing but e by nita. So e naught by nita is replaced. So finally you are getting time average power as e square by two nita. E square by two nita. E is given as e naught is given as two. So e square will be four. So two nita. So if you cancel this two, you are going to get two by nita. So Time average power you got it as two by nita. Then what is this nita? We need to calculate. Nita is nothing but this is a third formula we should know. Nita is nothing but under root mu by epsilon. Mu is nothing but mu naught into mu r. Epsilon is nothing but epsilon naught into epsilon r. Mu r is given as one. I substituted one and epsilon r four. I substituted. Then under root one by two will come out. Then under root mu naught by epsilon naught. This is a standard value. It is nothing but Characteristic impedance of the air medium. So it is nothing but 120 pi. It's a standard result. Everybody knows, I guess. So it's a 120 pi. So 1 by 2 into 120 pi is nothing but 60 pi. So finally, what is power? 2 by nita, 2 by 60 pi. It's nothing but 1 by 30. This is a direct formula-based question. If you can know these three formulas, you can solve this question within no time. So the right choice is 1 by 30 pi. So option A is the right choice. This is a simple formula based question try to memorize the formulas if you don't know so this is the end of this question if you have any queries post them in the comment box and subscribe to the channel for getting more updates